What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to walk you through my exact levels and my game plan for the upcoming week. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon so you do not miss on any of my upcoming videos. Let's get right to Spy. For those that trade with me, you know I trade Spy most of the time. Here recently, I have been looking at more individual stocks because the setups have just been there. And I do have a nice setup on individual stock towards the end of this video, so stick around for that. But for Spy, I like this 434.4 for a possible bounce per cost. A nice support on the hourly time frame. Then if we do fail that, keep in mind, two bounce levels can work. We can catch a nice day trade off this, come back down, fail it. Catch a nice day trade off this 429.6 to 430 area, which is a higher time frame support, which when you have higher time frame supports, that's a more significant level, right? So this is an hourly support. This is a daily support. Just something to keep in mind. I like calls at both these areas. Here are my updated SPX levels for the week. I only added one level to this, and that's that 4385 area. The levels I gave you all last week remain valid, so... Keep in mind, when you're trading SPY, never take SPY calls below resistance on SPX and never take SPY puts above support on SPX. What's going to happen is going to hit that reject, stop you out. So just be aware of your SPX levels. And yes, you can trade SPY based off these levels. Just wait on confirmation. And you can trade futures as well based off these levels. I trade ES, SPY, SPX all together. Um, I prefer trading SPY options. I like to trade ES futures. Now. Let's talk about my individual stock setup, which is on Walmart today. I want to show you what I see here, kind of give you my thought process. First off, you can clearly see we have a double top on the daily time frame, right? This is bearish signal and a nice sell off, nice reversal candle here. Now, what I want to see, I want to see a spell this 153.1. Below that, I'm looking for puts. I want to play this down to this 150 area. And if something happens, we fell that area. We got some serious room down to 145 plus. This will not happen in one day. I'm just talking about in the future. So my game plan is there's two different scenarios. You can take the initial break, which is higher risk. What I like to do, I like to watch level two, let the ask get below your level before you enter. Or we can wait for it to break down, which in my opinion is a little safer entry. Break down, pull back, retest that area, wait on confirmation, watch price action and volume to confirm this trade to go short with puts here. Take the move down. That's just my thoughts. I hope these levels help you all out. If you're wondering how to find price targets of your own, you can use basic support resistance, person's pivots. Some people even use Fibonacci. So me personally, I have to keep it simple. I have a game plan ready, how I trade, where my price targets are. They may be a little different than some of you, but um, if you're interested in finding your own, check out what I just mentioned. And that's all I have. I appreciate you all for watching. I hope you all have an amazing week trading. And if you're not in Team Bull with us, it's time to come join us. Come trade live with us. Appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.